Today I'm going to review these Energy Tech 9 watt 4 inch recessed downlight. Uh, it's a LED retrofit kit designed for recessed fixtures that use a standard uh, 4 inch inserts on them. Uh, they are equivalent to a 65 watt incandescent lamp, uh, fully dimmable, and they only draw 9 watts a piece. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, these lights. I'm going to also show you some of the, the disasters I've had with other brands of so-called dimmable lights that I've uh, had in the past. The lights we're looking at here is a Fiat brand of dimmable LED and uh, these lights work fine using a basic dimmer but watch what happens when I put them on my fancy Lutron electronic dimmer. They don't work so well. Now this is the big problem with a lot of so-called dimmable LEDs when you run into these electronic dimmers. The dimmer I'm using is actually one that is designed for compact fluorescence and LEDs and it still doesn't work properly on the vast majority of LEDs. So let's see if these new ones will actually perform better because these lights that I bought were completely unusable and they ended up going in my uh, bathroom that has a, just a regular cheap like five dollar slide dimmer. Let's see how these new ones work and see if they perform any better with my Lutron electronic dimmer than these ones. So as we open the box we'll find that uh, we have our four lights. These are all metal construction at least for the heat sink and the reflector and they have a, a plastic uh, base that houses the uh, inverter electronics for it and they just have a standard screw in socket that we're going to screw in and replace our existing uh, light with and snap these in. So let's take a look and see how they uh, go into the fixtures. Installation couldn't be simpler. Just remove your existing incandescent lamp, screw in the lamp adapter, and simply put the place the wires in and uh, snap the new light fixture into the existing housing. The first thing I've noticed is unlike the previous experience with uh, dimmable LEDs is I didn't get the flickering and they actually dim down. Now they don't dim down as dim as an incandescent lamp and unlike an incandescent lamp the color temperature does not warm up. When they dim, they dim, they stay the same color temperature but they actually provide a lot of light and they do dim down to a very comfortable level. I'm going to show you once it's dark, it's bright in the room right now, but I'm going to show you once it gets dark that they actually do a very good job and they look great. Now as you can see by comparison an incandescent bulb you have complete control from no light to full light and down to no light and the color temperature warms up with an incandescent bulb. This is not the same with an LED. An LED they respond a little bit differently when you turn them on. Unlike with an incandescent where when you turn them on they gradually come up from zero light to full brightness. An LED there'll be no light initially and then they will start and they'll actually start at a bright like not full brightness but probably 25 percent or so of brightness. You can turn them down at that point and t turn them down at a dimmest level but they don't initially start and also the four lights that I've got in the room when I turn them on they don't all immediately start at the same time. You might get three of them start at once and then you, as you ramp the dimmer up a bit the fourth light will kick in. Of course then you can dim them down and they look great but they, they do have a little different characteristic than the traditional incandescent bulb. I want to see what the build quality is like on these lights so let's take one in the shop and take it apart and just see how well these things are built. Okay, first we're going to take a look at uh, the light itself. It's an Energy Tech. It's a 4 inch LED down light. It says it's dimmable. Draws 0.1 amps, 9 watts consumption. Gives off 720 lumens. Covered ceiling only for use in dry and damp locations. Can be used with dimmers. The device is not intended for use as emergency light fixtures are in exit signs. It is a UL classified. It meets Energy Star requirements and it has been certified by the FCC. When the FCC get involved with any device that is capable of causing radio and television interference. So that means that this product has gone through the vigorous testing required which means it's a safe product. This is not something that you're gonna find is gonna burst into flames. At least it shouldn't it has undergone the proper testing which is very important when you're buying a lot of these uh, lights out of China and you don't know where they've come from you don't know whether they're certified or not these ones are certified but let's let's see what these things look like inside 
because I have yet to open one of these ones up and I'm really interested to see how they've constructed the inverter and what type of uh, light uh, die they're using in it and so forth. So removing the screws, the inverter is actually a separate unit and if we pop it open here, we should be able to see the circuitry in here. What we see is we have a small switching inverter, transformer, an oscillator circuit, and it powers the light separately. I want to take a look at this board here, so I'm going to pop off this, this glue that they've glued. They've just used like any, a silicon type of glue to glue the circuit board down. I'm not a big fan of that already, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, now I have the inverter inverter board out. Let's take a close look at it. Okay, to start with here, we have our AC power coming in. We do have a, a, a fusible resistor here. Looks to be, it's a 33 ohm. It looks to be about a two watt resistor. This will be to limit the uh, current coming in. And um, it's also acting as a fail safe so that if something were to short, this resistor would burn open. Um, from here, your neutral comes in on one side, goes right down to the bridge rectifier, and then the line comes in through the resistor into the bridge rectifier where it's rectified to DC. The DC coming off of here is then used to operate the uh, converter, transformer, and circuitry. So you've got a DC to DC uh, or a DC to DC converter because you've got a, a diode over here on the secondary side and then a filter capacitor. It's a 100 microfarad, 100 volt filter capacitor. That's for the LEDs themselves. Just a standard type of uh, a basic converter. But anyway, I want to take a look at what the actual uh, LED dies look like on this thing here. So let's pop off the, the uh, diffuser here and take a look at what's underneath here. So what you need to do is remove the screws that hold in these clips and then I can release the light assembly. And that should allow this diffuser to pull down and reveal the light assembly above it. There we go. So here's the LED light assembly. As you can see, it's got three, it's got nine one watt LEDs, hence it being a nine watt bulb. So it's got nine one watt LEDs that just shine straight down. And basically there's not much to these things. You've got your, your light die, or your light assembly, you've got a, a little uh, plastic reflector that goes inside here, like that. So that all the light gets reflected down, and then you've got your little plastic, or is it glass? That feels like it's plastic. That's yeah, got a little plastic, uh, a little plastic reflector, or, or diffuser, I should say, a little plastic diffuser. And the lights just go back together like that, pop them together. I'm just gonna put this back together now. The wires connecting the ballast and the light itself appear to be very good silicone wires, so they're gonna be able to withstand heat. And the, this is a metal uh, base, so the, the LED die is actually, this is the, the, the heat sink for the actual LED is, is the actual entire metal 
reflector assembly. So reassembling the light, I'm just gonna put the, the screws back in and we'll reassemble the ballast. As I say, the color balance looks to be pretty good. Um, skin color looks good under them. They dim out quite nicely. Dim them down here. And as I say, we're still, there's still a fair bit of light it's because it's light outside, but they do dim down quite nicely. They don't go down as dim as, say, an incandescent light will, and they don't change their color when they're dimming down. As I say, they, the only difference I've noticed is that they don't, they, they won't dim down any dimmer than that. The next step down is they go out completely. So when I turn them on, they start out at that brightness there. Oh, so, okay, so now as you can see, the lights are completely out and I can control them with my, my dimmer switch. And then when they come, and they'll dim down. There's the other one. There's the third one up here. When I turn them out, they'll go out completely. But now the question, how do the lights look? Well, I think they look great. They cast a nice even light throughout the room, as you can see. They look great. They dim down relatively nicely. Grab my dimmer control here. I'll show you how they dim down. And they'll go down nice and dim. I mean, they won't go as dim as an incandescent light, but as you can see on camera, they actually do go really quite nicely dim. I mean, it's 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 a nice cozy level for uh, for a dim room. Turn them out completely, and there they're out. So my overall impression is, yeah, I like these lights. The only thing that I you know I notice is that yeah, one of them is a little slow kicking in when I first turn them on. It takes a second for one of them to kick in. Um, so I mean, none of them none of them really work as well as an incandescent bulb. But you know, when you're talking nine watts each versus 65 watts for an incandescent bulb, the light looks excellent. I'll show you my fireplace here. I'll show you the floor. The, the lighting is really, it's really even and it's, it's a nice pleasing light. So I would say that I would recommend these lights to anybody that to ask me whether I like them. Yes, I, I do like these lights. So there's the color rendering on my fireplace. They look okay, they look good. Natural light. Can dim them down really nicely as you can see. I do have accent lights on my fireplace. These are one watt LED accent lights. So normally when I'm watching TV and stuff, I have the lights dimmed down and I just have my accent lights lighting up my fireplace. And I have another couple of uh, LED wall lights that uh, I can use in here as well. And they complement them really nice. The, the color rendering is, is actually very good. I'll show you that with the wall lights as well. So these are my LED wall washers that I've got. Now these are ones you can't buy these. Uh, these lights originally they had a 100 watt halogen bulb and uh, this is a conversion that I did myself uh, many years ago and they are now a 4 watt LED. They're not dimmable but uh, I usually use those when I'm watching TV for example. Those are the lights that are on and the accent lights. But these ones here, they really light up the room nicely and I would have no hesitation in recommending these lights. Thanks for watching.